What's up Carp Freaks? Now, through the spring, summer and early autumn, I have been using the Pacific Tuna boilies with great success. But as we now move out of autumn and into winter, I switch over to the live system. Now, the main reason for me doing this is because of its, its coloration. At this time of year, when the leaves have, have started shedding uh, and all the weed in the lake starts to die back, you can end up with quite a lot of debris on the lake bed. And for me, the light, creamy colour of the live system really does stand out well against that dark, that dark debris on the lake bed. And it offers a great amount of visual attraction, which I do think is important during the colder water temperatures. Um, but, as with all my baits, I never use them straight from the bag as standard. I always think there's lots that can be done to really crank up the food signals and attraction. And this is how I like to prepare my live system boilies. So here I have my prepped and pimped live system boilies. Now what I've done here, I've soaked these baits for at least 24 hours before my session in primarily bottled water. The reason I use bottled water rather than tap water is I don't want the baits to be tainted by any smell of uh, chlorine or fluoride and the reason I use bottled water instead of lake water is whatever baits I don't use at the end of the session I will take home and refreeze and use again on, on my next trip. Um, now if that happens to be on a different venue entirely um, I just don't want to be risking any sort of cross-contamination between venues so that's why I use the bottled water. Now as well as the bottled water I have added a generous amount of Amino Blend 365. It's a lovely creamy liquid that really does complement the live system well and in addition to that to really crank up the creaminess I've added a full jar of condensed milk. Now you can use either condensed milk or evaporated milk. I've found both work equally as well but it really does make the, the, the bait which is already a lovely sweet creamy smell it really does enhance that further I find. So here I have the finished baits. These have had around 24 hours soaking time but I'll happily soak them for 48 hours or longer and they'll remain soaking for the duration of my session as well. Um, during the winter months the baits won't go off because of the, the cream because the temperatures are quite cold. During the summer months so if I was to use this um, then I would keep the baits in, uh, in a cool bag or something to stop them, stop them turning. Um, what we've got here is a nice washed out bait uh, light in colour that stands out well against the, the, the debris on the lake bed. Also the baits are nice and soft, require no effort at all to, to crush that bait. And I think that is important during the colder months, during those cold water temperatures when the carp's metabolism is really low. Um, by having the bait soft like this it requires so little energy and effort to, to eat the baits, to crush the baits up with the, with the frangial teeth and also it's so easily digestible as well. So that's my really quick and easy way I like to prepare my live system boilies and I'm in no doubt that it has put extra fish my way when conditions have been really tough.